Hello everyone and welcome to All Light Food and today I'm going to make a very simple spicy chickpea wrap and for that I will take one cup of chickpea and I will soak them in water overnight or at least 8 hours before cooking them. Once the chickpea is soaked properly, I will add them to a pressure cooker to cook them till tender. To this I am going to add salt to taste and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder for that nice color. I will give it a mix and put it on the gas. I will let it to cook till 3 whistles. Once done, I will take out the chickpeas on a plate. Make sure that the chickpeas are nicely cooked and are soft. As you can see, they are looking perfect. Now keep them aside. Now in a pan, take 2-3 to three tablespoon of cooking oil to which add chopped ginger, garlic and green chilies. Saute them for a few seconds and then add 2-3 to three tablespoon of chopped onions and cook till the raw smell of the onion is gone. Once done, add 3-4 to four tablespoon of tomato puree. Here I am using the canned one but you can also use the fresh blended tomato puree. And now cook them for a minute or two. Once you see the oil over the cooked tomatoes, add the dry spices. I will start with salt to taste and then 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, then half a tablespoon of curry powder and finally 1 fourth teaspoon of garam masala powder. Now mix all the dry spices nicely with the tomatoes and ginger garlic. Don't add water but if you see that your spices are sticking to the bottom of your pan then just drizzle a few drops on the spices. Once it's cooked, add the boiled chickpeas. Cook the chickpeas nicely with all the spices. Finish the spicy chickpea filling with handful of finely chopped coriander leaves. The coriander leaves is going to give it a very nice aroma and make sure to remove all the moisture from the curry. Turn off the stove, take it out on a plate and keep it aside. To make the wrap or the paratha and for that here I have taken 1.5 cup of whole wheat flour to which I will add salt to taste and required amount of water and knead it to a smooth dough. Once the dough is ready, I will take a small piece, roll it and make it to a nice flat chapati. Once it's ready, I will put it on a hot skillet and cook it from both the sides. Once the paratha is half cooked, I will drizzle oil, turn over and cook it again for a few seconds from both the sides. Once it's nicely cooked, I will take it out on a plate. This looks perfect. Finally, I will make the wrap and for that, on the paratha, add 5 to 6 tablespoon of spicy chickpeas. If you want to add more or less, adjust it according to your taste. On the top, I will put some sliced onions and handful of sliced cucumber. Trust me, the cucumber will taste very good in this recipe. On the top, I will sprinkle black salt. 2 to 3 pinches of chaat powder and then a little bit of black pepper powder freshly ground. Next I will squeeze few drops of lemon juice for that nice tangy taste. I will finish by adding some pickled jalapeno which is completely optional. If you don't have the pickled jalapeno you can add green chilies or just leave it. Once done, roll it over nicely and enjoy your spicy chickpea wrap. So thank you so much for watching All Light Food. I'm sure you enjoyed the recipe. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Comment and share the video with your loved ones. I shall see you in one more video. Till then, goodbye, take care and stay healthy.